Sunday School for Little Ones, ages birth through three years old, at First Baptist Church in Shawnee, Oklahoma. Today we're starting a brand new story. It's the story of how God is strong. What are some things that it would take a really strong person to lift? The first thing that I think about is a big heavy rock or brick. Let's make some of those ourselves together. Ready? All you need is a couple of paper bags and maybe a little bit of newspaper and then any kind of colors or markers that you want. You could have lots of colors or you could just have one. So the first thing you want to do is color them. Now you can take all the time you want coloring your bricks but I am going to do it super fast so that I can tell you more about this story. Once you've got the bricks colored the way you want them, open up each bag. Take a piece of newspaper and kind of squinch it into the shape of the bag. And then put it in there into one bag. Then take the other bag and fit it over the top. Guess what? You just made your very own brick. Take a minute to make a couple of these bricks and we will use them in our story today. In our story today, some people have to make bricks and it is not this fun. It is very hard. We're going to learn today that God is strong. So much stronger than people that can lift heavy bricks or move heavy things or do big stuff. God is stronger than that. Who is strong? God is strong. How do we know that God is strong? Because his word, the Bible, tells us all about it. Let's sing a song about the Bible. This is God's special book. Yes, it's God's book, you see. I learned about what God has done and his love for me. This is God's special book. Yes, it's God's book, you see. I learned about what God has done and his love for me. Are you strong? Show me your big muscles. Ready? Go like this. Your muscles are right there. In fact, you've got muscles all over your body. you got muscles in your legs and muscles in your hands and muscles in your arms. You've got muscles in your neck. You've got muscles. You're strong. But God is even stronger. The Bible tells us a story about one of the times that God was strong. Let's look at the storyboard to find out more about that. This is Moses. Can you say Moses? Moses. In this picture he's got a fuzzy beard. Moses was an Israelite. It was the kind of person he was. Moses and the Israelites loved God very much. But Moses and the Israelites lived in a place called Egypt and in Egypt, there was a bad king. You can see him in this picture. Here he is. You can see him with his special scepters and his gold robe. And here are the Israelites. And here is Moses. And here's the king's helper. What are the Israelites doing in this picture? They're working very, very hard. What are they making? They are making out of sand and mud some bricks. Kind of like we made bricks in our craft, but these were heavier, bigger, and were very unpleasant to lift. Pharaoh, the bad king, was having the Israelites make the bricks. They worked hard. They weren't given enough to eat. They weren't even given the stuff they needed to make the bricks. And then he would have them stack the bricks. The bricks would go higher, 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 and they would build things with the bricks. While the Pharaoh and the other Egyptians 
just stood by and watched. They were, the Israelites were suffering greatly. Let's look at this bad king right here and remember that he was not a friend to the Israelites or to Moses. He was not a friend of God's. That's why he treated people so ugly. Point to him and let's say bad king. Bad king. He's a bad king. God's people wanted to get away from the bad king. And then one day, God helped them to escape. Where did they go? Let's find out. God helped his people escape from the bad king. Moses was their leader, and he helped lead them where God wanted them to go. They were running from the bad king and finally came to a big bunch of water called the Red Sea. They were wondering how they were going to get over the Red Sea when all of a sudden they heard something. It was the bad king and his helpers. They were going to try and get God's people to come back and work hard and not be happy in their land. Well, the first thing that happened was that God used a pillar of smoke to kind of hide them from the bad king. I wish you were here so you could feel how fluffy and smoky this pillar is. But the next thing that happened was even more amazing. There they all were, at the edge of the Red Sea. And they looked at Moses, and they said, What are we going to do? Pharaoh and his army are coming after us. Oh my goodness! Moses prayed to God to help them. And then the Bible tells us that Moses held up his arms, he held up his walking stick, and God worked through him to make a path through the sea, a path on dry ground. And Moses and all the rest of God's people were able to walk through that deep sea without getting even wet. But close behind them was the bad king, Pharaoh, and his chariots and his army. What's going to happen? Aren't they just going to be able to catch up with God's people? No, because God said to Moses, raise your staff again. And guess what? When the bad king and his people got into the sea, the water just closed up right over them and they were never heard from again. It was like the water had swallowed them up. Can you swallow in your mouth a little bit? Like, ugh. it makes kind of a funny sound. Let's do a little thing together where we go, glip, glup, swallowed up. Can you say that with me? Glip, glup, swallowed up. That's what happened to the bad king when he chased God's people. God helped his people escape. God was so strong that he was able to split the big strong waters in half so that God's people could go through a dry path in the ocean. God was so strong. Wow. God's people were safe. They loved God, but the bad king wasn't. Glip whoop, swallowed up. Let's sing a song about how God is strong so strong that he parted the water so his people could get safely to the other side. Let's listen and sing together. God is very strong, powerful is he. God will help us as we walk across the big red sea. God is very strong.
How are you doing? Ta-da! Look at what I have. I have, oh, you have a beautiful ribbon. My goodness. Children, what color is Cuddle's ribbon? It's red, isn't it? Yes, it's red. Yeah, um, I was in a weightlifting contest and I lifted about a zillion bales of hay. And I got this red ribbon. But old Larry Lamb, he lifted more than me. He got a blue ribbon because he's the strongest of all. Well, we've been learning about somebody who's stronger than you or Larry Lamb. Kids, who is that that is so, so strong? Is it God? Yes, it is God. God is the strongest. How do you know God is strong? Was he like in a weightlifting contest or something? No, but God's word, the Bible, taught us about how God parted some really big, huge sea of water so that his people could safely go through on dry land to get away from a bad king. God is so strong. Wow, if God can part a whole sea, then God is strong. I think God should get the first place blue ribbon. Yes, God is in first place, all right. Because God is strong, he led Moses and his people safely across the Red Sea. Let's use the bricks we made earlier to play a fun game. Are you ready? You have to listen to what I say and do what I do. Take your brick and go down, turn around, and shout with me, God is strong. Touch your head, touch your nose, touch your knees and your toes with your brick, and say with me, God is strong. Yay. All right, let's do it again. See if you can follow along. Take your brick and go up down and turn around and say with me, God is strong. Take your brick and touch your head, touch your nose, touch your knees and your toes and say with me, God is strong. God is strong. He was strong for his people, the Israelites, and he's strong for us today. He gives us what we need. He keeps us safe. He's always with us no matter what happens. No one is stronger than God. Well, let's see what you can remember. Who is stronger than anyone or anything? It's God. We've been learning that God is strong. All the mean soldiers were swallowed up. But Moses and his people were safe. They learned that God is strong. In fact, that God is stronger than anyone or anything. God helped Moses and the Israelites, and God helps us too. God's biggest help to us was sending his son Jesus to die for our sins. If we believe in Jesus, someday we'll live with him in heaven. God can help us anywhere, anytime, because he's strong. Let's say a prayer and thank God for being so strong. Take your hands and put them together like this. Close your eyes and pray with me. Dear God, thank you for being so strong and protecting us just as you did Moses and the Israelites. We love you. In Jesus' name, amen. Thank you for coming to Sunday School today. It was really good to spend time with you. Hope you'll come to our pool party this week at Miss Deanne's house from 6 to 7.30 on Wednesday. Next week, we'll learn more about Moses and the Israelites. God is strong.